Here, here's a pop quiz, hotshot. Where do you think I am right now? It's a bit mysterious, this. It looks like a boring old rainbowish oasis type biome, but it's not. It's a very peculiar place indeed. I think I better heal before I die. And this introduction is for nothing. Because uh, in this episode, we're going to investigate madness. And we're starting with the madness, maddest thing of all. If we can just get up here. Look at this. We have exciting ceiling action. <laughs> Ooh, this is actually working better than I thought. Ooh. So this is a weird place. A very weird place indeed. Here we go, look. This is where I fell down first time and discovered this. We're actually... No! Oh. Oh. That's not good. We're actually um, on my home planet. Um, this is the base planet. It just happens to be a very, very long way down. Uh, for some reason, there's a bloody great big one of these things. An underground oasis biome. There's also stuff I haven't actually looted here. Tier 3.6. Well, what we're going to do in this episode, as well as investigate madness, I think, is try to get to tier 6 armour and weaponry. Because that could be a good thing indeed. So 3.6 can feck off. Oh, what's this? A pocket anchor? Ooh. Never seen that before. That looks cool. It weighs you down, apparently. So, I was looking at um, the newly upgraded armory. Oh, if you haven't seen... Oh yeah, there's a the Patreon episode, 13.5. We remodelled this bit of the base. So we've now got a few things. We've got a little tinkerer's room here, which is very useful for the, all the augment extraction and stuff like that. And I've also upgraded a couple of things here and put all the fluffalo in the basement. And there's a cool little mechanism here. Everything, um, everything gets harvested automatically, sucked up by grabbers and put into a little network and everything gets bunged into here. Oh my god, it's mostly milk. <laughs> got some research out of it and all. Quite a, quite a lot of good stuff. Also algae. We will need some more ship fuel at some point, I think. So this is all a nice little setup. Wiring. Uh, oh yeah, the water arium. Uh, the water uh, the water generator. Apparently that's now, um, since the last episode, they've added another tier of water generator between the well and the generator. But it's too late. I've already got it. Ha 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 ha! Frankly. Right. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a look into here. And let's have a look at what... We oh, actually, that's completely the wrong one. This one. So we need to make an isogen ruin blade. This is a tier 6 one, which we've recently discovered how to do, I think, by finding isogen. It's a broadsword, which is my favourite thing. Oh, by the way, um, this um, the current broadsword I got, I got off camera about half an hour ago. It's a tier 4, slightly better damage than my old one, which is about 24 damage for swings. This is now 30, so it's slightly better. And this looks like something that you find only on a wasteland planet, I think. I'm guessing, just because it's like junk themed. Anyway, let's get the isogen thing on the go. I'm not quite sure if we can make this yet. We need six isogen bars and two dense alloys. We've got some isogen. A, a small amount. Oop, that's not how you spell it. Oh, we've got seven. Okay. That saves a job. What was it? Dense alloy and all. Oh, we've got enough for that and all. Huh. Well, so long, Metal Cleaver. We barely knew thee. Tier six. FU Measuring Contest Winner's Collection, apparently. That's part of. It must be a big lad, this. Oh, wow. Oh, my good God. <laughs> that was dramatic. All right. <laughs> well, let's put my old sword into... Notionally, this is what... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell all this gunk. This, this is worth a little bit of cash, so it might be worth doing it at some point. Get rid of that and all. We've got quite a few good little bits of um, weaponry now. But we do also need the armour. I'm not quite sure we're going to be able to make all this stuff. Uh, because it's going to require quite a lot of nonsense. But if we want to get this... Isogen armour. It's somewhere around here. Uh, this is going to require isogen bars again, so I'll have to go back to that ice wastes planet. More dense alloy. But also something called a Lazombrium seed. Ugh. Don't know what that is. Apparently, um, I think it's a sort of ore. Oh, I know. Hang on, hang on. I think um, I did actually look this up, and you can actually get it by sifting proto gravel. And last, I think it was the last episode, we actually put in a load of proto gravel into the sifter. And yes, look, we've actually got lazombrium, so I have got some. Um, this, I think, is it's basically a rare sift from uh, what was it? Oh yes, proto gravel. I've actually, I think I've actually got some. I think I reserved some more as well. Proto gravel. We've got a little bit more, so I can bung that in. Also, I'll be picking up all the other stuff. 
What's that? Oh, asphalt. Sivite? Hmm. And a Lizumbrium. That's given us stuff. Learn to craft Lizumbrium seed. Ah. Learn to... Oh, here we go. It requires more Lizumbrium. Inevitably. Well, I've just been checking my notes, and yes, we can get Lizombrium from the Atropus planet, which is a planet that the ship's currently above. I knew there was some reason for all this. Um, so, to get down to that planet, let's have a look. We get, this, is, this is where madness comes in. Um, Ali. No, that's not it. Atropus. Atropus uh, has quite a lot of good stuff in it. Quietus, Trianglium, Ephivium, whatever it's called. Pla? And Laz. <laughs> whatever they are. Oh, no, Laz is the uh, Lizombrium. Pla, I... <laughs> it's something. It was Plasmic Crystal! Right, so here's the mad... Here's the Atropos planet. It's unfortunately um, a bit too rich for our blood at the moment, because we've got... It's, it's adding maddening effects to us, and taking out our defence. You can tell I actually erected this place in a hurry. <laughs> actually, what's this stuff? Oh, it's orange gravel liquid. We've got some of that. That's fine. So we really don't want to be staying here uh, at all, to be honest. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, we don't want to be there. So we need a madness shield, essentially. We have actually now... You're suffering from madness. Visit a counsellor or instafroid to lower your madness level safely. Well, let's... Let's go to... Where's it gone? Science outpost. Because there is a, I believe, an insta instafroid there. And there might also be a contract to get a counsellor. I think I remember that from looking at the contracts a long time ago. There it is, the instafroid. Psychiatric help, 20% reduced risk of madness effects. Visit a counsellor. So essentially, if I just sit here for a while, that might disappear. Oh, we can see it's um, very, very slowly going down. Is that as a result of being in there? Or is it just because it's it does that anyway? Well, it's doing it anyway. So I don't know quite how that works. I think you can make your own Instafroid, which would be nice to put on maybe the ship or just back at base, really. There's a lot of questy poos type people down here. I'm not really bothering with the quests in this episode, I don't think. So I do need to get this madness shield sorted. Let's go back to base. I really think we should have an Instafroid, shouldn't we? Let's see if we can make one, because I think I've seen that in the crafting thing over here. It'll be under here, won't it? There he is. Instafroid requires everything that I have got. Tungsten, Lunari, Electromagnet, and Quantum. Right. Tongue. This better work. I better have everything. I think it was Crystal. Was it Crystal? This is when my brain starts to melt. Electromagnet and Quantum Processor. Yes, we're all, we're all good to go. Not many Electromagnets, but I think they're cheap, so who cares. We all seem to make quite a few Quantum Processors. Right. Paging Dr. Freud. And we can bung this. Well, turns out our Medibay isn't that big. <laughs> uh, hmm. We can put it. We can put it somewhere over here for now. Let's give it that bed. Who cares about the bed? Nobody. I might have to think about expanding the Medibay. There. That's also conveniently right next to the teleporter. Maybe we should make this the Freud room. Bite to eat. I think it's pests time. Only three? Hmm. Used to be five in there. So that'd be nerfed. God damn it. Anyway. Eat, eat, eat. Whatevs. Right. So it turns out... If Let's go back to... What is it? My left shift left click on this. To the research tree. Here's my madness over here on the left. 58. That was 60 a few seconds ago, so that is counting down very slowly. But it looks like, um, metaphysics, I can unlock something. If I have 200 madness and 200 researchers, I'll be able to unlock all sorts of weird stuff. Insane notes. Tome dias, autopsy table, bizarre erotica, um, <laughs> and some Pulp Fiction. Hmm. I think I've unlocked this, haven't I? Yes, this has unlocked the, um, the counsellor contract. Yeah, this is the one I was... Ah, yes, let's go back to 
the science outpost again. I was going to do that, wasn't I? Let's have a look at the... Let's have a sift through the contracts. Which I believe are oh, on the ground floor. I can never remember. I think it might be over here. Right. Oh, was this a really, really expensive one? Yeah. Yeah. How about no? Yeah, not really much we can do about that then, is there? You bollocks. Right, okay, let's get some more Lazombrium then. Ooh, madness. So we need to go back to base. We need to... Actually, one thing I need to do is put some bloody armour on. Because I took it all off. Because I was um, rearranging stuff. Right, here we go. I think... This is the EPPs. I've moved them away from the, the things up there. Uh, I don't know where we go. We're going to the Madness place, so let's... First of all, actually, let's cook up a Madness shield. Although, I, do I want Madness? There's a chance I actually might want it. Anyway. We need Dark Light Blossom, Advanced Circuit, and Putrid Slime. Now, the Dark Light, blo the dark light Blossom, I think you need to go for, to a Lightless Planet for that. So we may need to, like, pop over there. So let's see. Let's see what EPPs I've actually got at the moment. I've taken all them out of the EPPs, so I know what's going on. Uh, can you get a light EPP? I can't remember. Otherwise, we'll have to have something else. Uh, no. We may just have to go by our wits. Anyway, let's put this on, because this is definitely handy. I think lightless planets might be quite cold anyway, so that's handy. Uh, am I, am I going to put an EPP on there? I could put the Shadow Shield on that we spent so long making sure that we had. I'm not going to bother... Oh, she... Mm, it might be a good idea just to put some extra healing on. Um, EPP, where's it gone? I didn't actually put it on in the end. Um, mild Glow. Yeah, that'll do them. Right. So we need to go to a lightless planet. There's a slight issue here. I'm not quite sure if we're going to fuel. There's not that many lightless planets around, and I haven't got... I don't think we've got one saved. No. There was one. Quite close by the Dark Star. Black Star. This one, lightless. 763 fuel. Uh, they've rejigged the fuel since last episode, so everything seems to cost like a billion times more. <sighs> How much fuel have I actually... not you. How much fuel have I actually got? 123, that's not very much. Thankfully I've got a lot of algae. It looks like I'm going to have to do a bit of um, fuel crafting. Let's put the, uh, the biofuel in, plus some rods that I've got. Ooh, 781, was that enough? That cl that's... no, I can't go to that one. <gasps> Only just. Holy shit, that was close. What do you want us to do on these quests? Side quest. We've only got one side quest at the moment. And that's the make the fission reactor. The molten power is the main quest. I think that's the one that eventually leads to fighting that stupid great big blobby thing. Whatever it's called. <laughs> right, anyway. Oh god, look at that. Let's find... There it is. Oh, it's got a nightmare Atropus planet. Not going there. A lot of stuff around here. Oh, it's an avian pyramid. Hmm. Dark Inferno. This is a horrible old dark magma planet. What a horrible location this is. What a bastard of a star. There's the nightmare of Atropus. Immeasurable climate threat. Trianglium. Plasmic crystal. That's a renamed thing from... I think it used to be blood diamonds or something. Or oh, telebrium as well. No. Yeah. Iradium. Basically, all the meats of the cultural stew. Right, so this is... Ephigium... Oh yeah, there we go. Lazombrium. Which apparently glows red, so we can easily find it. That pyramid's still flapping about, look. Right, let's make sure that we do flag this place. Flag, flag, flag. I did put my armour on. Yes, I did put my EPP on. Probably. I thought I'd already been to a lightless planet in this series, but... Hmm. It's already weird. Oh my god, what's that? Poisoned! Um, we may need to just like... Oh, hello! Watching flesh. Give us a lot of things. Yeah. Right, this looks like a nice 
Let's just carve out a little extra space. Space! And do the usual thing. We'll need... Oh god, it's going to be made of wood. Another high quality building for the lads. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I'm going to try and wire up the landscape. That's a good idea. Right. Nearly done. Pub. 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 Go away. Flag. Oh, flag. We can make sure I have plenty of flags. Lig. Actually. I should just call it dark. Light. Um, This has got Laz. And some other stuff as well. Right, so let's explore the Laz. Laz, Laz, lads. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of a dig down. Try and go through the eyes. Block of dark stone, block of darkness, rotting flesh, pile of eyes. And a torch, which I picked up. So I'm looking out for like a glowy red ore. I think it's easy to find, apparently. Because of glowing red orage. So if I just do Oh god, this is going to be... No. I thought, I thought it was going to be a big old cat. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's more poisonous nonsense. Terrified, unbreachable darkness. Oh yeah, these, these torches are not working very well, are they? Hmm, lightless planets. Not very nice. There. Is that stuff? I think they're... Is it? I'm not sure if it's the flesh or what's that that's actually hurting me. Oh! Oh, the fall. <laughs> Which is... Also a thing. Oh, I hear noise. I hear whispering. Oh, hello! What are these? Kill it! I don't know what they were. God, it's so dark around here. It's terrifyingly dark, in fact. And yeah, there are whis evil whisperings in my ear. It's seducing me. It's not it's not really. I haven't found any ore yet. My armor's proving good. And my sword is proving strong. It is that red stuff. I'm also now on black slime. Oh black slime, that can be Oh Oh hello. <laughs> That's interesting. What's over there? Hmm. Let's let's make towards the wiring. The mysterious wiring that was weirdly there. I think this black slime is um, hurting as well, isn't it? Ooh. Well. Knock, knock! Oh, hello! Tonk. <laughs> there. Stay back. Well, that died quickly. What on earth is this? Oh, it's a, um... It's a... It's a... It's a... It's a... Isn't it? It's a... <laughs> It's one of these places. I'm going to have a bit of a kip. A florin dungeon type affair. Can I even open this? I think I have to tonk it. Hello. Bye. I don't really want to be here, to be honest. It's a bit pointless. Well, there's, there's people in cages. Oh! An insanity attack. Oh! Things are going weird. What's going on? Oh my god! I've been absolutely annihilated. Whew! That was actual madness. Fortunately, I'm going to go back there and get my stuff again. Where was that? That was a lightless planet. Paletti 4. Not very Paletti. No. <laughs> It was going to be a joke there, but it didn't really work. Oh god, it's gone dark again. Something's hap weird's happening on the outside. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, it went away. Some kind of chaos. Right, let's follow. Hey, this is a... <laughs> just realised just how much of a, a... A sneaky little cheat this is. It's... The one thing that um, it breaches the unbreachable darkness. Wiring. Huh. Right, what, what I need to do this time is make sure that I've got... Oh, I've got no bloody 
Mm. Make sure that I've got a way of blocking things off. There we go. Oh, a wide volcanic geezer. So I don't think we're going to find much in here, are we? Because we, we are trying to find ore. So it might be a good idea to actually sod off out of it. And try to find this lizarium. So I came back up to the surface. What's that? A oh, mutavisk. I came back up to the surface because whilst we are kind of looking for lizombrium, and it does exist on this planet, um, it's, it is actually the, uh, the, the dark light blossom that I really want. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on looking for, on the surface instead. Seems like you can get um, Lazombrium from quite a few of these nasty-ass planets. But yeah, it's going to be a case of look, checking the surface. I've got ins I'm already insane. Bloody insane I am. Can't see a thing. What I really need to do is make... Ooh, ah! Go away. This sword is really good. <laughs> what I really need to do is make a, a flyer. So I can fly around planets much quicker. So what? Bloodroot seed. Not quite what I wanted, but it's a seed. Oop, careful. Just trying to... There must be better ways of doing this. Well, we can't do anything about the madness because we haven't got a madness shield. Oh, look! Shadow. Isn't that... Shadow effects. We need. We have a shadow shield. This is... These are the things that... Okay. This is where we need the, the shadow shield. I think. Shadow, to protect myself from shadow taint. Ow. Might be just a good idea to run for it. Shadow root? That's not quite what I wanted. It's close though. So this is the right sort of biome for simple, simple similar type stuff. Hmm. Oh, dark light bottom! I uh, don't know what that was because it was too dark. Unsurprisingly. No, I've got some. So I'd... let's try and find. Oh, the madness effects have worn off. Let's try and find a bit more. Now, where are we? <gasps> what the flipping hell is that? It's gone. Whatever it is, it's gone. Oh, it's back! Oh! Loot box. And a, ooh, a hat. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's important. Right, I think we're all... I think we, we may have enough. Because I've got three or four dark dark thing in my bobs now. So, oh, God, more shadow lads. Okay, that's probably about time to... What's that? No. More, what's more shadow root? Let's get out of here. Bastards. Right, so I've got... Hopefully enough stuff... To make... Well, probably we need to make a... We need to get a lot of Lazombrium seeds. So that's not, it's going to take a while. For now... Well, we have the Dark Light Blossoms. Let's try and find and make this madness thing. Well, I mean, really, I mean, the madness shield is... It's more of a general thing, because we don't necessarily need to go back to the Atropus planet. We could go back to the Lightless planet to get some Zombrium if we can ever find some, but... Eh, whatever. Let's have a look at the Madness Shield. We need Advanced Circuit and some Putrid Slime. We've got five. I think. If only I can remember what I did from episode to episode. Um, putrid Slime get is got from Black Slime, isn't it? Yeah, Extraction Lab Mook 2, Black Slime. So, oh, ash Pile, I don't want any of that. So let's put some of the Black Slime through. Where is it? There. We may as well get some Putrid Slime out of it. And we also need the Advanced Circuit. Much nicer room, this now. <laughs> now I've moved things around a bit. Right, so now we can get this bloody augment. So, let's extract. Actually, what should I use? No, I'll just I'll do it from here. Put that on instead. Madness shield. And then we can put the EPP back into here. 
Also open the loot box whilst I'm at it. Tier 5 common... Ooh, not bad. Common, tier 5 common machine gun. Which probably gets... Was, definitely makes it makes us able to get rid of the submachine gun tier 4. Still want to sell all this stuff at some point. Immunity to insanity. Nice. Right, so in theory, we should be able to go back to the Atropos planet and have some better luck. Uh, which will be... Hang on. Maybe I could try to um, find... I don't know if this... Um, I don't know if... Where's, where's my ore detector? It might not be upgraded enough. The precision ore thing... I'd like to put some of the uh, Lizombrium in there to detect the ore, but I think we would need to upgrade things. And also, I have a feeling, yeah, we would need to upgrade it. So, so anyway, sod that. Let's let's have a bit of a look around for the ore. Is the gravity really? Is this might be gravity rain or something? Oh wow, that was an immediate death. I think we're, we're very powerful against a lot of these enemies. Yeah. Oh, sharpened claw. That's good because we haven't been, been getting many of those. So hopefully, what's this? Oh, just nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Right, so Lizombrium then. Again. Well, I would actually like to try to see what some of this is. Oh, it looks. Oh, it's honey. Red honey. Oh, might grab some of this. Honey, honey, honey. Useful stuff for the, those bandages. I've been finding a lot of them. Um, health kits, but not really crafting many. Oh, there's also a, a box of delights. Um, those will be good to sell. I must remember always to take that sort of stuff. Even if I don't think I'm going to need it. Oh! They got activated. The bees are mad. Bloody mad bees. Anything else from the ground? I think we're going to have to go in, in, into, this, into the planet itself, aren't we? Oh, I found some quieter, sir. Seven of them, <laughs> without even noticing. I forgot we were needing quieters at some point. That's good. It was very, a bit invisible, that. Oh, we found Plasmic Crystal. It's a lot of stuff. So, Bloodstones, as, as was. Plus, oh, it's a little bit of Ephigium as well. I'm getting all the good stuff. Apart from the one thing that I actually want. Which is there, the Zombrium. Fortunately, my inventory, once more, is, is defeating me. Oh! I think I'm starting to find Lazombrium. Uh, I found a piece there. And it does glow just a little bit. Over there and over there by the looks of it. I think you just have to come really deep. Uh, yeah, because I am very deep at the moment. I, I seem to be wandering around in some uh, ruin type biome. But yes, I think we've finally found... Well, not exactly the mother load, but some of them. It's rare and it seems to be very low down as well. I think it's in probably more planets. Quite a few more planets than this, but... This seemed to be like the best bet. Maybe. <laughs> I really sh should put a teleporter down here. So I can get back here. Right, uh, a long time later. I'm out of that planet. Gone, gone to the icy wastes. Got a little bit more isogen. Uh, but just basically enough to make our stuff. So we'll just remind ourselves what we need to actually make this. Uh, we need the isogen bars. Got those. Dense alloy. Oh, we might need some more dense alloy. We need seven. We need two more dense alloys. Unfortunately, that probably will require us to do a bit of crafting. Uh, dense alloy. I, can't, I don't think it's in here, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, this is the one that requires those. That's, that should be okay, though. In fact, let's just grab these ourselves because I know what they look like. Um. Well, apart from one. <laughs> oh, there it is. Got it. There, we should be able to make dense, dense alloy for days. Oh, there's a putrid slime. We managed to get six out of that. Dense alloy. 39? Oh, that's well too many. <laughs> Never mind. 
I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure it's fine. So, Lizombium seeds. We can make these as well. Um, so, we only need a. F we don't need many of these. Or we can make them corrupted legs. Oh dear. It's <laughs> a bit awkward for all concerned. So, go back to the armour. Aha! Lizombium seed, isogen bar. Let's just, yeah, let's just craft them. I think we're all good. There, we have a nice set. So we can put the Arctic hut. Oh, hello. We can put the Arctic hud. I'm making full use of the lift here. <laughs> and we can put the Arctic hud back onto here. Keeping the EPP. And our new one. That's actually a tier 6, I believe. So, in future, that'll go on the mannequin over here. And now we're up to 64 armour from the previous, that was about 18, 50, 62. Admittedly not a huge difference, but we are going to be immune from a lot of stuff. So that's good, and if you have an isogen weapon as well... Do we have an isogen weapon? We do! That means we get an additional set bonus for some reason. Isogen weapons, plus 15 physical resistance, plus 3 crit crits. Okay, that's good. That means we have a really good synergistic outfit, ready to take on whatever. We have 49 madnesses, though. Um, I'm trying, what I'm trying to... what I'd like to do is get up to 200 and then unlock this. I think that's how it works. For some reason that icon is different to that one. But they're both madnesses, apparently. So I'm thinking, maybe if I just go to the... the mad planet and take off my... Madness shield. In theory, that should actually do the job. There we go. Let's see. This figure should hopefully, therefore, go up. Oh, it's gone up to 58. Oh, look, it's at the bottom there. Look, Madness 10. I went up 9. Oh, yep, so slowly but surely that's going to go up. And as soon as that gets to 200, I reckon we're in, a, in for a good shout of unlocking that stuff. Hey, look what happens when I'm when I hold this great big ship anchor. I can't jump at all. <laughs> it's excellent stuff. Anyway, never mind about that. I think we now should have enough madness. Not quite. We just need a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Two hundred and five. Let's see if this actually works the way I think it does. Yes, learn to craft autopsy table, bizarre erotica, and the insane notes. Excellent. We can get out of here now. Did I actually spend the madness? It did. I'm no longer that mad. So that has unlocked a few things, including... What was it? Something down here. The Tome Deus. A place to write down magnificent, totally safe theories and lost knowledge. So there's still a bit more kind of, cra of this crazy-ass stuff that we could do, so we may then pick this up again next time. Um, but until then, uh, thanks for watching. And do subscribe, do check out my Patreon, links in the description if you want to support us, and all the usual things. See you next time.